Jom English with me again, Madam Ain. So today's lesson, we are going to learn another format of penulisan section B, which is called as formatted writing. Okay, jom kita tengok apakah format yang akan kita belajar pada hari ini. Okay, the format is a notice. Okay, by the way, have you done any notice before? Okay, kalau belum lagi, so hari ini saya akan menerangkan pada kamu tentang tips-tips penulisan notice. Okay, apakah perkara penting yang perlu kita masukkan di dalam sesebuah notice. Okay, before I explain about the format, okay, uh, let us think, why are people Writing notice. Okay, kenapa orang menulis notice? Okay, the reason is to announce important information to a specific target group of people. So, maksudnya orang menulis notice untuk memberitahu sesuatu maklumat yang penting kepada target halayak. And notice normally are displayed on boards in public places and also in schools. Okay, kita boleh dapati notice di tempat-tempat umum okay, dan juga di kawasan sekolah. Okay, let's look at this example of notice. Okay, this notice is written um, from the National Public School somewhere in India. Okay. And the notice is about inter-school cultural fiesta. Okay. And inter-school cultural fiesta is going to be organized in the Hill Mount School on 26 February 2012. The events include competitions in the field of music, dance, and dramatics. Winners will be awarded with attractive prizes. And students interested in participating may get their names registered with the undersigned latest by 22nd February 2012. And this notice is written by a person named Rekha. And who is Rekha? She is the, the person in charge of the cultural committee. Okay, so now let us look at what is the question given to us in today's lesson? Okay, your teacher asks you to inform your school peoples by writing a notice okay, telling about the school holiday camp. Okay, you may use the information given to help you. Okay, guru kamu meminta kamu memberi tahu murid-murid dengan menulis satu notis tentang kamp cuti sekolah. Kamu boleh menggunakan maklumat yang diberi untuk membantu kamu. So let's look at what is the information given in this question. So the information given is in the form of poster. Okay, so this is a poster from Sekolah Kebangsaan Besut Jaya by the English Language Club. And it is about school holiday camp, uh, which will be held from the 1st to 3rd June 2020. And the benefits of joining this school holiday camp uh, experience living outdoors, learning new skills, people becoming more confident and the activities included are such as fishing, exploring the jungle, visiting Orang Asli village. And people who are interested to join the camp must take the forms from the teacher in charge, who is Puan Tasnim Binti 
are made and the closing date mentioned here is on the 25th May 2020. Okay, so you are given with this information but it is in the form of poster. Okay, maklumat yang kamu diberi adalah dalam bentuk poster. Dan sekarang tugas kamu is to transfer the information from this poster into the form of a notice. Okay, so before we start, before we talk about the answer, let us look at the format of notice writing. So basically, the format of the notice start with the name of organization. Okay, nama organisasi, for example, school name or maybe um, nama penduduk uh, taman. Okay, for example, kalau uh, notice itu untuk memberitahu tentang annual meeting, for example, and the, uh, and the meeting is held by the committee of uh, of residents in a in a park for example a resident of taman raya okay, is going to have a, an annual meeting so the name of the organization is taman uh, maybe persatuan penduduk taman raya and right after that we will have the word notice so if we look at the format the word notice is spelled N-O-T-I-S-E. All letters are written in the form of capital letter. Okay, just to alert those who read the notice uh, so that they will know that this is a notice. Okay, then after notice, kita ada title, tajuk. Apakah tajuk event yang ingin kita maklumkan tadi? Um, tidak sepertinya event, eh. dia boleh juga menjadi satu maklumat penting ataupun pemberitahuan penting. Okay, then, um, selepas title tadi, kita ada body notice tadi. Kalau kamu relate kembali kepada kelas saya di dalam tajuk informal letter dan juga message, kita menggunakan formula 3 plus 2. Uh, three is the information from the question and also two supporting details or the reason that we we write to support the information given in the question but except for the notice okay, kecuali notice tidak melibatkan formula 3 plus 2 tadi okay, tidak melibatkan langsung formula 3 tambah 2 Kerana notice dia lebih kepada straightforward. Okay, it is more to straightforward answer. Okay, the details are very short, precise and straightforward. Okay, sangat-sangat um, ringkas. Okay, so the body normally we include the details such as date, time, venue. Okay, if the notice is about the annual meeting. Okay, annual meeting. So Orang akan nak tahu, okay, bila meeting itu, pukul berapa, di mana. Okay, so those inf uh, important information must be mentioned in the body of the notice. Okay, then we also can include other important details yang berkaitan dengan title tadi. Okay, apa-apa maklumat penting yang berkaitan yang perlu um, public tadi tahu. Okay, kemudian selepas body, kita ada name of the person who write the notice. Macam tadi, contoh orang yang menulis um, notice tadi ialah reka. Okay, then we have position. Apakah jawatan orang yang menulis tadi? Kalau di dalam soalan tadi, kamu diberi um, peranan sebagai seorang pengawas, so you just write the position as uh, the school prefect or maybe 
uh, in the question, it mentioned that you are the class monitor. So you will mention in your notice as class monitor. Okay, now let us try to solve this problem. How are we going to write the notice for this question? So, for example, um, my school name is SK Kemaman Dua. So that is the name of the organization then apa lagi yang kita ada selepas name of organization okay ingat lagi so kita ada perkataan notice itu sendiri okay it is a compulsory okay then selepas notice we will have the title okay what is the title of the the event so if you look at the question the information given in the advertisement just now, sorry, in, in the poster just now. Okay. Saya nak kamu di sini, kamu imagine, kamu nampak poster ini. Okay, kemudian kamu diminta oleh guru kamu untuk menulis kembali maklumat yang kamu nampak di dalam poster itu. Tetapi kamu perlu menulis dalam bentuk notis untuk pemberitahuan kepada murid-murid di sekolah kamu. Okay. So now if you look at the question, the information in the question. So event yang dimaksudkan di sini ialah school holiday camp. Okay. School holiday camp. So that's why saya masukkan. Dalam title saya tadi ialah School Holiday Camp. Okay, so School Holiday Camp is my title. Then selepas title, kita terus kepada body notice kita. Okay, remember body notice, dia tidak melibatkan formula 3 plus 2 yang telah kita bincangkan di dalam dua Lesson kita sebelum ini, okay, tetapi ia lebih kepada straightforward information yang kita nak sampaikan. Okay, so of course bila kita memberitahu orang tentang an event, okay, when you are telling people about event, so the first important thing that they want they want to know is the date, of course. So SK Besut Jaya will organize a holiday camp. From 1st to 3rd June 2020. So if you notice that uh, maklumat ini 1st to 3rd June tadi saya ambil direct daripada poster tadi. Okay. Dia ada mention tadi 1st to 3rd June. Okay. 1st to 3rd June. Okay. Okay, selepas tarikh, apakah maklumat yang ingin saya include in my notice? Okay, the next information that I'm going to include in my notice. Okay, ah, I'm going to include, okay, what are the benefits of joining this holiday camp? So I mentioned here, by joining this camp, Peoples will experience living outdoors, learning new skills, and also make new friends. Okay, so this is what I get from the from the poster just now. Okay, it is mentioned here what are the advantages or the benefits of joining the so this is the information that I am putting in my in my notice. Okay. Then I mentioned here what are the activities provided in the camp. So the activities provided are fishing, exploring jungles, and visiting orang asli village right then 
the next information that I need to tell the public is peoples, okay, peoples who are interested to join the camp can contact Wan Tasneem Binti Hamid before 25th May 2020. So, maklumat ini penting eh? kerana jika ada orang yang membaca notis tadi, dia berminat untuk menyertai camp tadi. So, dia boleh menghubungi Puan Tasneem tadi sebelum tarikh yang dinyatakan dalam notis tadi. So, if you look at the body of this notice, it is very, very um, straightforward, very precise and very short. So, dia tidak menyebabkan apa-apa supporting details di sini. So, sebenarnya maklumat yang telah saya nyatakan di dalam notice tadi, kalau kamu perhatikan semula kepada soalan kita, saya telah nyatakan tentang tari, okay, tentang benefits, and then about the activities and I also mentioned about the person in charge and the closing date to register for this program. Okay. So actually, kalau kamu perhatikan dengan teliti, okay, soalan ini dia tidak terlalu menguji kamu untuk memberikan sesuatu yang di luar daripada soalan. Okey, di mana uh, seperti penulisan message kita perlu ada unsur kebat iaitu supporting details eh. Di sini dia tidak terlalu uh, menyukarkan kamu kerana maklumat yang kamu akan masukkan di dalam notis kamu tadi semuanya telah tersedia di dalam uh, maklumat soalan tadi. Cuma kamu perlu tahu apakah format asas penulisan notis dan um, apakah yang perlu kamu select okay perlu kamu pilih okay, what are the important information that i'm going to put into my notice okay then so ini saja kita punya body notice tadi dan saya akan akhiri dengan okay, for example i write my own name for example adam hakimi Okay, um, and the position. Okay, jawatan saya contohnya sebagai school prefect. So, macam mana? Kamu rasa sukar? Saya pasti sebenarnya notis ini walaupun kamu jarang membuat di dalam bilik darjah tetapi sebenarnya notis tidak begitu sukar jika kamu benar-benar uh, mengingati ataupun um, if you can memorize the the format of writing the notice. Okay, kalau kamu ingat bagaimana penulisannya, sudah pasti kamu boleh membuat ataupun menjawab soalan notice dengan baik. Okay, so itu sahaja buat kelas kita pada hari ini. Okay, uh, saya harap kamu dapat gambaran yang jelas. Okay, what is the notice all about? Remember, people write notice. Okay, to acknowledge, to inform people about about something very important um, about event or about anything that is uh, that they want to tell the the audience. Okay, so saya harap apa yang telah saya kongsikan di sini uh, berguna untuk kamu di dalam mempelajari topik notice. Okay, before I end my class. I would like to remind you, don't forget to subscribe my channel and see you in our next lesson. Okay, bye.